Am I the only person who thought this movie was hilarious? The minute I saw this clip, I thought, oh my god, this is beautiful. A floral Godzilla, and now I must make one too. So, that's what I did this last summer, was make a May Queen dress for Halloween. It was a fantastic experience. So what I did, um, I had to make it on my porch because our house isn't big enough. So you can see this picture. We've got a, my lovely second story back porch. And you see Bob, our dumb, dumb man. No, um, not a dumbbell. What the hell is he? Punching bag was turned into my dress form to make my May Queen dress. So, how I made my dress was, um, first I went to Walmart because we have no fabric stores where I live or within 20 miles. It's great. Um, so the first thing I did was I went and bought some fabric. I bought two different kinds. Um, I decided to buy a floral fabric because I thought maybe it would be easier and if I had any holes you wouldn't be able to tell. So I think I got like four yards of this thick floral fabric and then I bought um, two yards of the green you can see on the sides. And what I did was before I learned how to sew, because I didn't get the sewing machine until Christmas this year, hot glued and made the dress. So it's about 12 feet in length from front to tail. And what I did was I threw it over Bob, cut an opening for the neck, and then hot glued the arms and uh, cut some triangles with the green fabric and glued it together and then I glued a fine um, outdoor craft wire to the bottom to help hold the dress up or I thought it would help hold the dress up so you can see that I'm posing you can see how my dress kind of has the form of the May Queen dress so that's what I first started with Sorry some of these pictures are dark. Um, it's a porch. It got dark out. I spent almost every single day outside this summer making this dress, roasting in my own sweat, percolating. is great. Great time. So after I glued all the fabric together and made sure that it was the, the width and the length that I saw in my mind, I... Um, started putting flowers on it. So I went to Goodwill Salvation Army and tried to find fake flowers. So it's all fake flowers. I lucked in at Walmart and they had some fake flowers for like 10 cents a bundle on clearance. And I think I bought $20 worth of those, but the rest of my flowers were completely free. So I'll talk about that later. But what I did was my lovely glue gun and hot glue stick. And I had some um, really, really hefty skizzers. I pulled the flower heads off of the stems, cut the base as close as, as close as I could to the actual flower, and glued all around. So I started at the bottoms and made my way around. So I did all the way around the bottom first, kind of trying to mix it up and make sure that I had enough variation around and then I started going up the green, up the triangles on the sides. You can see in this picture, I've got a decent amount of flowers glued together. And then here we go. So I've tried to lighten up my pictures in the dark. Sorry, I have no videos for this at all. I'm sorry. So you can see it's just randomly grabbing flowers and trying to make sure that there's enough variation to... Um, have the picture. Sorry, my dog is snoring in the background. Um, so here we can see that I got bored on the bottom. My back probably started hurting because I'm old. So I moved up to the neckline and went around the neckline um, to make my lovely flower neck. Then um, I got bored with that. <laughs> Sick of gluing. So I started to make my crown. The crown is made out of um, flower wires like from the craft department and they're pre-length and what I did was I intertwined those together to make a crown and then made the pieces that stick up 
and then slid the flowers down onto them. So my flowers, um, they were legally acquired, but they were from cemeteries. So they were actually from the woods. So I went out in the woods and collected all the flowers that had blown over deep down into the bowels of the woods and that have dry rotted and had been there for a very long time. Found some bones too, it's great. So I found some deer on the railroad tracks and it's a good day. And then a couple of the um, crews that were cleaning one of the big cemeteries around here told me that they throw them in the dumpster so I just went in the dumpster and dumpster dove and got all these beautiful flowers and uh, upcycle, right? So all my flowers are pretty much free, collected from trash and the woods of old, unwanted cemetery flowers. So as you can see here, I'm a trying on the dress. It's a little heavy. There's just too a lot of space on it. I believe I started in June and I finished in late September. That's how long it took me and I was out there like every evening hot gluing flowers on. Um, I also use the leaves in part to help break up the colors but you can see that it's a little it's very heavy. Um, Bob made a great dress for him. Here he is again you can see slowly working my way up. I did the arms um, just slowly and my flowers all over glue and glue and glue and it's patience is the key to this so i finally here's a big chunk of it you can see where i finished the back so this is near the completion of my project my big issue was it kept bending in on itself so a lot of the problems even though it's beautiful and floral it kept falling because it's so heavy and here's my crown so just keep adding and gluing flowers on. You can tell it's very hot outside. I spent a lot of time outside this summer. It was it was great actually. Um, so my crown was finished pretty soon. It was also very heavy, so I had a little trouble holding up my flower peaks of my crown. Um, I realized at first I made three, and in the video she had four, so I had to go back in and add one, which is kind of sad because it looked really good and it was nice and symmetrical and then I had to go find the same flowers and put them on the other stick um so it took a while but I was very proud of him um then when I finally got it completely covered in flowers I realized that it was way too heavy and it just fell in and didn't poof out like the beautiful floral Godzilla that Danny was in Midsummer. so I got up under the dress, you can see here, I actually fit under there with the cap, and I used PVC pipe and rounded it out using a heat gun, not under the dress of course, it was outside off of this, but I rounded it out and made three different tiers, and I made a form to go under the dress to hold it out and keep the weight down, and I just held that up with the suspenders. Poor Greg, he helped. He had to deal with me being crazy all summer, almost every day, outside, on the back porch, hot gluing flowers, and then going to the cemeteries when they did the grass to go get the flowers, and going into the woods, and going onto the railroad tracks, and picking up all the old flowers. It was a good time. And then finally when I finished, I had to add in my little tail, so it was great. And here we are, me trying it on for the, the big reveal. So, it was huge. It is a huge dress. It is fantastic. Um, so I am very proud of this dress. Once I finally got everything together and got my form that fit underneath, Bob was sick of wearing it. And... It was almost time for me to go and try it out. So here you can see Bob. He looks great. And so I'm trying it on, seeing how it works. There's my side-by-side. -side. I think I did a pretty good job with it. I'm very proud of it. It took forever to make. It's very heavy. It's very hard to move around in. It's really hot. But it's beautiful. And it is great. 
So I'm going to share this lovely clip for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know there's no actual videos, but I wanted to share how to make this. Um, if you enjoyed this, please let me know because we've made a lot of other stuff like our Foshnot outfits. I made a mask from Fallout 76 and went to Foshnot and Helvisha this year. It was pretty awesome, if I can say so myself, which is also really cool. And we won some costume contests. So if you like it, we might be moving more towards a craft DIY channel now that I've learned how to sew and we've been making lots of stuff. So let me know what you think. I'll see you next time.